Colton. Yes. That is for the next series. You're right. <laughs> that is not the guitar no. we're reviewing tonight. Not tonight, but soon. Soon. Coming soon. Check but it soon. out. Yeah. Pretty nice, huh? That's all you get. And now uh, it's on to this one, correct? Yes. Welcome to Fret Night. My name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome to the High Gain series. This is a series of guitar reviews. Right now we're in the High Gain series. Uh, we're just primarily focuses on high-end guitars um, from custom builders all over the planet. Um, trying to get some of them in the forefront so you can see them. Maybe some of the people you didn't know. Maybe some of the people you did know. Tonight, we're kind of on the outer edges of custom. Mm -hmm. So I don't need all the stuff on YouTube. I don't need all the haters talking to me. But we thought it was extremely important that you knew who this company was. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. This is a Vola. These are made in Japan. Uh, these are made by a luthier that has been doing it for 25 years. Um, and he has a few luthiers that work with him. These are all hand-built. Is it custom? Yes, <clears throat> but you don't have no right to tell them what to do. So <laughs> it, maybe it's not custom. But I'm gonna, we're going to talk about price point on this. We're going to put this in a mix. We're going to tell you our thoughts on it. It's worth all the money just because it's white. Just because it's white. Very nice guitar. Uh, plays really, really slick, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. All right, so what we're going to do real quick, like we're going to get into the specs. And um, so this is an alder body. Uh, it does have black binding all the way around. Kind of gives it a little classy look. Mm -hmm. yep. um, it does have an Evertune. You are seeing that correctly. And you're going to be really surprised when I tell you how much the price of this guitar is at that Evertune. <laughs> um, also, this has a roasted maple neck, 24 mm -hmm. stainless steel jumbo uh, frets. Um, it has Goto locking tuners. And this guitar comes, when I first thought about ordering it, I'm like, man, I'm going to snatch them out and put some bare knuckles in them. <laughs> well, we've been playing it for a couple days now. Probably going to leave it alone. Um, yeah, it this sounds is, pretty uh, good the way it is. It does, doesn't it? So the bridge is a VHC. And, uh, boy, I hope I'm getting this right because I'm on the internet. The, no, no, no. The neck is a VHC and the bridge is a fire ice. Yes. It's all right. They'll so, fact check us later. Right, right. So you've been playing it. What do you think about it? It's, it's pretty amazing. I, so, I'm, I'm impressed. I like it. You're impressed because you're the one that told me to buy it. It was on a whim. <laughs> it was on a whim. So we're constantly searching the internet. We're constantly messaging builders. We, 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 we probably have a lot of builders out there that hate us because we've talked to them about buying guitars and we really hadn't bought none. We've kind of watched some other stuff on them. We've decided, yeah, maybe that's, maybe that's not people we need to put out there. So long story short, he calls me and he's like, hey, you ever heard of Vola? And I'm like, well, yeah, I've heard of Vola. So at that time, they didn't have anything like this. They had the King machine, the green one. Mm -hmm. Really like that guitar. It's an artist guitar, but it's the first one they've kind of made, got away from kind of the rock scene and kind of moved into more modern. Mm -hmm. I really love it, but it comes with a Floyd Rose. Floyd Rose. That was, that was not that it's a bad thing, but it was kind of a hang up a little bit because a lot of them came with a Floyd Rose and it's not, again, nothing against Floyd Rose. It's just can be a little bit of a hassle sometimes. So we do... We obviously have a lot of guitars now, but you know, our, our, our kind of our deal is we do a lot of different tunings. Mm -hmm. We're up and down constantly. So for the majority of the time, anything with a floating anything is not good for us. Yeah. I, I mean, I, there's plenty of things I'd like to do with the Floyd Rose. <laughs> uh, but and I really like them. I like <laughs> yeah. all the, the really good ones that function, mm -hmm. but you just about, let's just, Let's just say you're gigging. You need to get a different guitar for every tune. Yeah. Because you ain't changing that on stage. Mm -hmm. That ain't happening. If it does, something's wrong. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this was just released, and I believe you might be looking at a superstar. I might be the world's first that ordered this. <laughs> I might be the first person that ordered it. They had this for about a week. They had it on their site, coming soon, coming soon, such and such date, releasing such and such date. And I was really antsy because I called him and I said, if that white one comes up, I'm buying that. So long story short, 
about 1150 the night before I was on their site and it popped up. Yep. And it wasn't even supposed to be on there yet till midnight. And I was like, Bim, gotta have it. Yep. And it's white. And it's white. <laughs> so just to give you an idea, this, this uh, company is from Japan. Now from the best I can figure on the tracking, this guitar actually shipped from Hong Kong. That's their port to get off the, the continent. Probably took about six or seven days. That's not too bad. That's not bad, man. Coming from Hong Kong to America. Um, that's actually really good compared to some of the stuff we've done, mm -hmm. we've had here. So, uh, stupid impressed with everything about this guitar and it's white. Mm -hmm. Did we mention that? It's white. <laughs> that, to me, that makes it worth a whole lot more money just because it's white. Oh, yeah. So, um, how do you feel about the neck? I love the neck. It's uh, It plays really, just real smooth. I can't say the other word because I say it too much, <laughs> but it is that word. <laughs> So this is a roasted maple neck and it is a slim modern C. Nice. So they not only did they create more of a modern guitar, mm -hmm. they also kind of created more of a modern feel guitar. Yeah. Um, some of the guitars that say, oh, we put modern pickups in some modern guitar. It's not really a modern guitar because you got a brick or neck. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? The whole purpose behind a modern guitar is a lot of speed up and down the neck. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. I think it, it can do that. Oh yeah. And uh, it's, it's, you know, it's the rich light board, correct? I don't and, remember uh, if that one was rich light or ebony. Maybe it is rich light. It, it plays, to me, it plays, plays like, like a rich light, light and Maybe I'm, I'm growing fond of it. I gotta be honest. I mean, I get the appeal of having like an all natural wood neck and that's, or fretboard mm -hmm. and, and that's nice. And I love that too. But I'm, it, you know, if it's rich light, I'm pretty, it feels it like was, it. I don't remember if it was ebony or rich light. We've been looking at so many. Um, but I'm liking it. That's the point. And you can go on their website. It's just V-O-L-A, Vola Guitars. This is an Oz. It is part of their Oz series. They're, they make a ton of Oz's, but this is their first modern Oz with a Evertune. Yeah. Ever and when I tell you the nice. price, you're going to be really amazed because if you know anything about real Evertunes and you know how much they cost if you go buy it off the shelf and they put that on this guitar for this price, mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. I said it. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, so it has a gloss finish on it. It's gorgeous. It has all the nice cuts. Turn around and let them see the cuts on the back. I mean, ergonomics on the guitar is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to tell you, I'm gonna, we're going to shut up for a minute. We're going to let you hear something in the mix. When we come right back, then we're going to talk to you about um, how we feel about it, price point, what it took to get it, how long it took to get it, um, how we feel their QC is. And when we buy it again. So we'll be right back. Welcome back. Uh, you got to hear some of it in the mix. Mm -hmm. You 
have been hogging that guitar since we got it, even though it's my white baby. <laughs> so what do you think about it, man? Um, well, speaking a little bit about where we left off in the cuts on the body, uh, I, I just love, I mean, a lot of, a lot of guitars have that cut, you know, in the back, but it just, it fits just so pe perfect for me in how I typically play. Mm -hmm. It's just extremely comfortable. Um, it also has this, this little curve away mm -hmm. at the bottom left of the hip. And that That's is extremely, extremely comfortable. It is extremely important I mean, when you play. It I notice such a big difference sometimes when that is not there, and it just kind of feels like my you arms reach out it here. over. Yeah. it. I don't like and that. I I love that aspect that some guitars are adapting. Did I tell you it's got a ever tune on? Yeah, that ever tune right there is really nice. Also, another thing we don't have this guitar plugged in at the moment, but you saw it on the uh, on the mix. But this guitar comes with a kill switch. I was going to mention that as well. And it is lit on LED, mm -hmm. yeah, so it, that's it really up. cool. Yeah. It's, it's pretty awesome. All right, so here's what we did. We uh, stayed up late, waited for the premiere. Of course, you guys don't have to do nothing. You just go straight on the site and buy it. This guitar retails, retails for $15.44. Now, me and you both know, if you know anything about guitars, you're, you're probably looking at $400 to get an Everton. Right. And they put that on this guitar with stainless steel frets, a mm -hmm. roasted maple neck, all the appointments, Goto locking tuners. Um, I really thought I'd probably have to change the pickups but when we bought it, but man, I think that guitar is really kind of in its own window and it, it needs is. to be left alone because mm -hmm. it really does what it does really well. Yeah, and we fact-checked ourselves. This is, in fact, <laughs> Ebony. <laughs> they said we fact-checked ourselves. <laughs> yeah, but either way, it, it plays really nice. And I just got to point out the... Uh, what would you call this? The Jimmy Neutron? The Jimmy Neutron, yeah. <laughs> yeah it does look cool. good, and it was a deciding factor on me purchasing the guitar. Because mm -hmm. I, I, like I think the, that's uh, really cool. I like the dot layout as well. It is really that's, sweet. That's just real nice. Um, so you guys can just go straight to Vola website. Uh, you can just order this thing. Now, check out the King Machine. It's on there, too. It's this guitar a little bit different configuration. And if you're one of those ones that really like a floating tremolo or whatever, I mean, I haven't put my hands on one of the Keens, but I know a lot of people in the industry that have played them and they just rant and rave about them. Of course, nobody could tell me about this one because I got the first <laughs> one. What? Okay, so um, this guitar cost us $1,544 and on their website, they had a coupon code for 5% off. So I got it shipped. From Hong Kong to America for fourteen seventy seven, with an Everton. That's pretty good. That's really good, man. Yeah. That's um, if I would have had something like this in my early stages of playing, I could have really played what Tony Iommi was playing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But trying to play what Tony Iommi played on a Sears and Roebuck guitar, it just didn't come out right. You know yeah. I mean? <laughs> it doesn't matter. But this is an amazing, and I would not call this entry level. This is, all right, so I'm going to piss off the masses, but we're going to say it. If you go spend $2,500, $2,700, and you get an Ibanez Prestige, you get an E2, Japanese-made, ESP, and you spend that much money, and I bet you money, I could put this, you could sit down by, blindfolded, and you'd pick this guitar over those. And it was $1,477. It, uh... It can definitely hold its own with those. So, all in all, amazing guitar. Um, they just knocked it out of the park. We have searched this guitar. There's not there, the guitar. There's not a mark, scratch. The mm. binding is perfect. Everything on this is meticulously done. I.e., Japanese luthiers. Right. They're and, known. They're known for that. And the uh, the shipping. Uh, you know, to touch on the shipping, the way it was packaged, all of that, real professional. Oh, the shipping. So I didn't even tell them. So you get this. It does come in a Vola gig bag, mm -hmm. but it is the coolest, thickest, nicest gig bag I may have ever seen in my life. Yeah, it was pretty nice. Um, it has string wraps on it. It's wrapped in its own, um, whatever that white stuff is they wrap guitars in, you know, bags or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That's inside the gig bag. And then the gig bag was wrapped in a bag. That bag was in a large box. And they created a frame system that slides down over the gig bag and supports the guitar. And then they put a cap on it. Yeah. 
and then they ship it to you. It can't move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought that was really cool. And just so you, you probably already know this, if you know anything about guitars, came from Hong Kong, seven days, still in tune. In tune. Straight out of the box. That's really good. Yeah. Okay, so we've told you a little bit about this guitar. Um, if you're in the market, man, and maybe some of the stuff we're, we're showing you is like just a little bit out of reach, um, do yourself a favor, man. You don't have to take my word for it. We're touching it. We're playing it. We were the first. <laughs> um, go watch some videos on that. Yeah. We're going to be the first video, too. I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be the first video, but uh, you need to put your hands on that. That is smokingly good. It's very good. If you don't know anything about our channel, maybe for some weird reason, it's the first time you're here, this is a series of guitar reviews on high gain guitars, and they're all custom made from around the country. I know this one's kind of on the border of being custom. Um, we got one more after this. Mm -hmm. We actually got a couple extra guitars, so I ain't decided how we're doing that. But anyway, we got one more of these high gain series, and then we move to the series that all y'all are gonna love. Oh yeah. We're going to get into the entry-level metal guitars. Mm -hmm. You just learned to play guitar and you like metal? I would, uh, you know, maybe check it out. So what that series is going to be, we're going to probably have six or seven guitars. They're going to be very affordable for everybody, everybody that, that ever wanted to play guitar. We're going to bring them in here. If you've been a patron of this channel and you know this channel, you know we haven't really said anything bad about any of these custom high-end guitars because there should be nothing bad to say. No, not really. We had somebody comment and go, well, you, you just really like everybody's guitar, <laughs> don't you? And I'm like, dude, have you touched these? But anyway, so long story short, what we're doing is our next series will start in a week or so. If you don't know anything about what we do, you, you need to start watching that because all of those guitars, as we review them, you guys will have a chance to win them. And they are entry-level guitars, but I promise you, I, I, myself and Colton have put in months of late-night work, not saying we did it 100%, but trying to figure out the best guitars for entry-level. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to give you, I mean, we didn't just go buy some washboard, you know, two inches off the fret string yeah. guitar. We went and found the ones that actually sound good, play good, and are going to be good. Mm -hmm. And you can spend a very little bit of money on them. And you could, I mean, these guitars, I don't have every one of them yet. They'll be here in a day or two. We got some of them. But, I mean, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be scared to gig with them. Yeah, it's kind of the best bang for your buck that you could get into a guitar with. Yeah, and so for about what you pay for, you know, the little drugstore or whatever, you know, gig, gig pack or whatever, where they give you a little guitar string, strap, all that, you can pay that for one of these guitars, and you're going to have something that will really rock, and it will last you a good long time and it will last you over a time frame of your learning curve if you're just starting. Mm -hmm. And if you're not just starting and you need something to beat around, hey, they're fantastic. Yeah, that'd be great for that. So, episode nine. Nine. There's one more after this. We usually tease you and kind of tell you what we're doing. We're not going to because we got a special one coming. Not that none of them are not special. We got another special one coming. Mm -hmm. That will be our 10th. And then we have another one coming that might even sneak in an 11 episode. <laughs> you know, it goes to 11. You never know. You, you never, never know. know. But we will be doing the, ent the entry-level metal. That will run consistently until we run out of those guitars. And, hey, we're always researching. You don't know. We might find two or three more we're going to give away. Yep. We're just constantly looking. And if you want to in the comments, you can always go in there and put what you think. We're not going to tell you what we're going to give away. But put what you think, if you've had that experience, mm -hmm. put what you think's kind of uh, the best thing you've touched, you know, entry-level style guitars. Yeah, what was your entry-level guitar? What would you recommend for an entry-level guitar? Yeah, we'd be curious to know that. So we, we've done a research, and we've got quite a few of them coming. Um, please stay tuned to that. As always, like the content, share the stinking content, and subscribe. One it's easy. Thing. Would we buy it again? Never. Never? In a I'm million years. We took the <laughs> that shot. Is a, that, that is a steal, guys. Yeah. Did I tell you it was fourteen seventy seven shipped with an Everton? Come on, man. Yeah, I uh I Do you think know how much that guitar would be if it was an LTD? It'd be twenty two hundred dollars. Yeah. 
-hmm. It'd be a $2,200 LTD. Yep. And if you don't know anything about Japanese guitars, there's a ton of super high end, and I'm not going to mention all of them. Luthiers out there, Japan um, consistently puts out some of the best QC guitars, bar none, on the planet. They're just a different, I don't know how to say it, but I have played Carpathians, and you're going to be lucky at $3,900 on a Carpathian. Right. And I'd put that up against a Carpathian any day. It's, it plays uh, just like it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very nice. Very surprising. I think I would buy again. Okay. So you're good with it. I like it. Even though it's white. I mean, I, you know, green is my deal, but I, I you know, I'll settle for white. <laughs> well, I figured you was going to have a cow when I bought the white one and not the green one. Yeah. But anyway, you got some other green stuff There's coming. There's some green stuff There's coming. There's some green stuff coming. All right. So listen, as always, like the channel, share the content, please subscribe. Make sure you come back, hit the bell icon. I don't care what you got to do. Make sure you stay around because that next episode, we're giving guitars away. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to be out messing around and forgetting we're doing it, you don't get a shot at them. So. Yeah, that's on you. That's on you. We did the research. We found guitars that play good, and we're going to give them away. It's on you to watch mm -hmm. and be there when we're ready. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, until next time. Stay tuned.